Hi, you are watching now ASP Routnet MEC tutorials. Go through my previous tutorial for the continuity. Okay, now I am going to show you something uh, interesting topic. Uh, suppose uh, I want to um, link the CSS and script to my page. How it is possible in MVC? Okay, there is one simple way. Mm, in layout, we can create one st styles with rendering some uh, options. Okay, uh, before going that, there is uh, some set of things. Uh, you all find out like styles dot render in the content there is some set of urls it's not mentioning any styles so how it works so actually this is the concept bundling actually the bundling is used to bundle some set of uh, things uh, to give some set of result so actually uh, uh, here we are using the bundle concept to get or render the whole CSS or uh, some set of scripts to our pages. So suppose um, we need some four style sheet to my page. No need to every time come and refer the styles to here. In Razor view there is one good option to make the bundling and the bundle result we can um, refer here. Okay, fine. Okay, uh, I will show you like uh, how to do the bundle concept. Okay, two things we have to concentrate. How to do bundling, where to do bundling. Okay, uh, initially uh, I am going to do how bad to do the bundling so there is some set of folders here app data app starter content controllers filters okay no need to worry that much here you see there is some css and some themes that we have in some set of folder called content and there is one style sheet style okay fine i want to link these themes and some CSS into my uh, layout page so how to do that there is a way bundling this is a folder called app starter this folder will hit whenever the application will start okay fine application if uh, it's getting rendered on its hit this will call uh, this uh, CSS model there in the app starter Okay, fine. Um, there is uh, CSS name as bundle dot bundle confer dot CS. So here you see there is a static class registered bundle. It has some set of bundle collections. This is a predefined class library. It will do the bundle collection operation so we are pausing the bundle here Oops. fine see this is the method uh, which have the bundles that we made actually so here uh, in the layout page I have uh, the styles dot render uh, content dot css first we will see where it is located actually see this is the bundle that have the url with some styles names with the include the styles name okay fine okay actually uh, the option how to do the bundling bundle there is a method called add we have to create the new style bundle with some appropriate name and include whatever the css that we need see here the list of css 
comes under the content themes dot base dot css so we can include this many css we can remove the css according with our needs so the same way we can bundle the script also there is a method of we have to create the instance for script bundle and gives it a name and include the scripts that we need actually so there is a way uh, there is some iphone dot store actually what it is actually it means nothing but i just open the script c actually we each have the set of validations store uh, if suppose uh, the jquery validate validate dot minute validate unabstractive whatever the things if you applicable uh, if you give the store it will take all the necessary uh, fields from the jquery if suppose this is a base uh, name it will uh, get the sub name whatever it will be included in the styles so there is a one more method we can use store to get all the jquery that under in the same name so this is a very useful uh, technique that used in mvc to make the bundle and we can refer easily to wherever the pages that we need actually this is very useful things for the developer to build the application so finally we got the bundle list then uh, there is option styles using the styles we just give the render method and point out the bundle name and the script name will render the control into our layout so this is very useful technique that it works in the mvc